Every day we look, yeah. Every day we look, oh, yeah. Every day we look, oh, yeah. Every day we look, oh, yeah. Every day we look, 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 vlog video so i'm about to start my dinner before twan come home i'm making some steak um with grilled onions and uh what you call them things um uh garlic grilled onions and grilled garlic i'm on this garlic hit oh my god it's off the hook it's the bomb.com but however, I'm making that. I'm making some string beans and corn, uh, some uh, baked potatoes, and I'm trying to make some hot water cornbread. It always comes out raggedy. But anywho, just follow me. I'm about to clean my meats in the. Oh yeah, after that, I'm gonna bake a cake and Nisi Poo go bake some brownies. Yes, just stay tuned for that one. So, I gotta set up my little station. Cause uh yeah, your boy Twan broke the stand. Okay, so I'm about to just clean my meat. Um, so here's the steak right here. Oh, would not. So I'm about to clean this, and yeah, um, just give me a second. So. It looks like this. Um, I was gonna fry them, but I decided to, um, and I just washed my hands too. My hands are always clean. I just washed them. So yeah, I decided to um, to just put it in the oven. You know, like bake them. You know, like mid bake or whatever. So yeah, that's the best way. I promise you. And then what I am going to do as well, I'm a saute. Um, I'm a saute some um, onions and garlic as well. You know, so I'm gonna do that too. So. I like to make sure my meat is clean. And I'm going to clean it a second time too. I just want to run through it real quick. Yeah, because we don't really have a meat market out here in Fairfield at all. Like, we don't. So, he be having to go like the next two cities over, or the next two towns over, to go to the meat market. It sucks, but oh well. We make a way out of no way. My phone is ringing. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, you guys. So, you know, I might get it out. But, yeah, so like I was saying again, we don't have a meat market out here. So, we be having to go to like two towns over just to go to a meat market. Because when we go to the grocery store, it's like they don't really give you your money's worth of meat at all. And even when they do, sometimes they meet the all old and just. Mm -mm. So, I prefer the meat market because they're meat. It's fresher and then you get a better deal so yeah so I'm debating on if I'm gonna start doing because I used to before I actually started YouTube I used to uh, get on like Facebook live every night and uh, I used to cook for like everybody that wanted to watch me I used to have a nice audience very very nice audience as well so I'm not really a big steak eater but, um, you know, I'm just going to eat a little bit of steak because I need my protein. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I already got the oven on. I had started it to three, I think like 350. But I'm going to uh, raise it a little more probably to like uh, 390 or whatnot. Because for some reason, I don't know why everybody, for the most part, I always go to 350 when they cook me. You know, but... That's what I'm going to do. And then when my food is done, I'm going to take a nice picture of it. And our plates. Yes, indeed I am. So, yeah, just making sure I got the meat all clean, nice. Um, like I said again, I'm about to season my meat. And, um... Yeah. 
I don't know. Some people don't clean their meat good. But yeah, meat all the way is clean her meat good. If I don't do nothing else, I'm going to have some nice clean meat. I'm just squeezing excess water out now. Even though I'm going to put water in there anyway. So it really don't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to get a plate. And I'm going to just season my meat. Because with steak, you don't want to over season it at all. Because I'm telling you, over seasoning some steak, mm -mm, it's not a good deal. Let me get my seasoning. Also, I normally, I don't actually, I never cook. I never season my food with salt, but when you are like, um, like if, if you want to taste all of your seasonings, it's okay to sprinkle just a little bit of salt on there just to open up the pores of the meat. I'm talking about like a little tiny bit. Like you don't need that much at all. And that's just to open the pores up. Or if you want to like marinate your meat overnight or something, just like sprinkle. I don't know if y'all can see, but literally like barely nothing is even coming out of this salt. Like the way I got it tilted, like literally. It might look like, oh wow, but no, trust me, nothing is coming out of there like that. So, yeah. Just sit that to the side again. So, I'm just like gonna, you know, massage it in there just a little bit, get some, rid, rid of some of this water. I don't know why meat carries so much water. So just kind of just, you know, massage it in. And then, once I think it's all the way in there, I'm going to start my seasoning. Maybe I can use a little more salt. I don't, I barely got any salt in there. Before I do that, I'm gonna take all the tops off because I hate, and I always make sure once I'm done, I always um, uh, wipe my uh, seasoning stuff off. This right here is a Creole seasoning. It's really good on like any kind of meats. Prefer gumbo, but it's it's really good. It's like another like a, it's like a salt slash seasoning salt mix <coughs> or whatnot. So yeah. That's what it's like. And I don't really put that much on there at all. So now I just take my garlic salt. You can like be as heavy, not really too heavy, but you know, like you gotta put a little oomph into it because you don't want no blah taste, no blam taste in meat. And I got my pepper. gonna just massage it in. I'm thinking about probably frying this stuff. So I'm just gonna put it in a skillet. Yeah, I'm gonna fry it. I was gonna do it in the oven, but I want to get to my cake. Now I'm just gonna drop my steak in the grease. Again, I didn't put that much grease in here at all because steak makes its own grease. I just wanted to be able to wet it just a little bit. And actually pour probably a little more grease out as well. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I don't want that mess with mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna come back this way. So I'm just gonna put like a few in there for now just to, you know, get this taste going. And I'm gonna always, I'm gonna chop up some more as well. Cause I don't wanna take forever on the same, oh, thing. 
So, and I just cut the little, just caught a little bump off. I'm just going to show y'all how I cut my garlic and you guys can cut y'all how y'all want to. So I just take it. Can you see me? You can either cut them thin, you can cut them thick, you know. Either way it go, the taste, it's gonna, you're gonna taste it no matter what. You wanna flip it real quick, cause I don't want it to get dark too quick on one side. I'm gonna turn the fire down just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is get my onion. And uh, chop a little, well not a little, but well for now just, you know, chop some onion up. Ooh, vegetables hurt me, hurt my sister. I just hate, um, like adding onions so quick because it makes the and that like make it soggy really fast. <sighs> I'm just gonna just sprinkle just a dot of that. Not too much because I'm still, you know, like that. Okay, come with me. Let's go ahead and just sprinkle it over the top. So I'm still going to chop some more garlic and onions up. I just wanted to get y'all on the level of how it's going to be. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, um, I'm going to just let that cook for a while and then, you know, do everything else. And then once I'm done, I'm going to let y'all see how the outcome is. And then me and Nisi Poo, we're going to, uh, bake our cake and, um, our brownies and all that type of stuff. I will show y'all the outcome or whatever. All right, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so my dinner is done. And don't mind my scarf and I changed my shirt. Cause we got, we got finished playing the game. Y'all see that video uploaded probably before this one. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I got my steak with my grilled onions and my grilled... Yeah, my grilled stuff. I got my baked potato. I'm about to slice it open, put my butter and my seasoning in there. And then I got my vegetables that's actually still going. They're almost done. But it's string beans and corn. I am icing my cake. I'm not done yet with that. And then here's the brownies that Nisi Poo made. I got to finish cutting them. Um, so, yeah. And that's the uh, ending of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, don't mind it. Just, yeah. So, yeah. I'm almost done and uh yeah, so give this video 50 thumbs up, likes, um, hit that notification bell, bing, 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 uh, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh yeah, welcome to that gang family, gang in the building, Nico always love y'all.